Welcome to Hillsborough County's Comprehensive Mobility Proposal, a list of immediate and long-term transportation needs that provide reliable, affordable choices, keeping us on the road to sustainable job growth and building a great community. Transportation matters, and your opinion matters to us. At the end of this video, we'll tell you how to voice your opinion. Together, we will create the future transportation solutions that reduce commute times, improve safety, offer commuting choices, and ensure sustainable job growth and economic prosperity for our community. This mobility proposal is designed with balance in mind. It balances transit and non-transit options by recognizing the importance of providing transportation solutions we emphasize safety and proper maintenance of our existing transportation infrastructure. Finally, it balances the overwhelming need with a reasonable and equitable funding solution. The proposed transportation investments you'll see in a moment include fixed guideway solutions, bus rapid transit, express bus and rail, as well as non-transit solutions, basic transportation infrastructure improvements, intersections, sidewalks, road paving, road expansion, trails, and bike and pedestrian safety projects are necessary elements of a comprehensive mobility network that complement transit solutions. These projects serve basic community needs throughout our large and diverse county. The projected cost of all non-transit investments is about $4.3 billion. These investments include $157 million in the Plant City area, $107 million in Temple Terrace, $779 million in Tampa, $1.2 billion in the Northwest County, $1.4 billion in Central and Northeast County area, and $592 million in the county southeast. It starts with the backbone of our community, the transportation spine and the supporting spine network, connecting people, goods, and services. The job centers shown here are the anchors of our community. 70% of targeted industry jobs are within these areas. A robust mobility network also ensures effective movement of goods, large and small, to their destinations. While most people today drive, we propose a more robust mobility network, giving residents and visitors a choice every day for every trip to walk, bike, drive, or choose transit strengthens connections between communities, commerce, job centers, and other travel destinations. In particular, the West Shore, Downtown, Brandon, and USF areas are projected to host 370,000 jobs by 2040. Connecting these four economic anchors and Tampa International Airport enhances access to commerce, tourism, and provides opportunities for live, work, and play connections. These corridors represent the greatest opportunity to build fixed guideway systems and are the fundamental building blocks in our transportation network. The challenge is to determine the mode for these connections in both the short and long terms. Options include bus rapid transit, automated people movers, modern streetcars, light rail, and more. Based on previous studies, the corridor between West Shore and downtown offers the greatest potential for a starter fixed guideway system within the next seven to 10 years. Within this corridor, 
an express toll lane will be constructed by the Florida DOT. We can leverage this improvement by providing premium bus service on managed lanes and or rail within the interstate median. Another option would be a fixed guideway system along a parallel route. This option lends itself to redevelopment opportunities along the selected corridor. In this video, we can visualize the redevelopment impact of a bus rapid transit corridor along Cypress Street. Based on industry estimating standards, the capital cost for this five-mile corridor can range from $250 to $800 million, depending on the selected mode and right-of-way requirements. Operating costs can range from $5.6 million to $9.2 million annually. To offset these costs, we are taking steps to position ourselves to be competitive for state and federal funding. We know intermodal transit centers are being planned in downtown Tampa and the West Shore area. This five-mile corridor is one of the largest commercial districts in the Southeast United States, with more than 160,000 jobs working in a variety of businesses, including retail, commercial, and more. Intermodal centers will allow our area to accommodate regional transit. Express toll lanes connecting Pinellas County and the Veterans Expressway could help facilitate these regional linkages. All Aboard Florida, a private passenger rail venture which is currently planning to build a line between Miami and Orlando, has expressed interest in connecting Orlando with downtown Tampa. Let's take a moment to visualize how our community could transform. The proposed Atlanta Intermodal Center, seen here, shows us options for more than going from one point to another. Intermodal centers bring together different modes of transportation, such as rail, buses, park and ride, streetcars, and more. By offering options and expanding commuter choices, these centers become magnets for commerce by promoting high-density development and revitalizing adjacent areas with private investments. They also provide visitors and residents shopping opportunities, restaurants, offices, and much more. No local dollars are anticipated for the intermodal centers. In addition, a consolidated rental car facility planned for Tampa International Airport will give visitors to this region opportunity to seamlessly travel to airport, rental car, bus, and other services. Another potentially feasible fixed guideway corridor is downtown Tampa to the University of South Florida, providing access to Temple Terrace, Bush Gardens, a high concentration of advanced medical centers, and high-tech industries. Utilizing a system that is flexible and adaptable to changing community needs. This corridor can link us regionally to Pasco County, beginning as a bus rapid transit system and maturing into a rail option. Within this corridor, FDOT intends to improve the interstates by building express toll lanes. Capital costs for this corridor range from $515 million to $1.5 billion depending on the technology and right-of-way requirements with operating costs between $11.8 million and $19.4 million annually. Imagine the benefits of a fixed guideway system along Highway 60 to Brandon, where pedestrian facilities will allow safe and easy access to bus rapid transit stations. These images illustrate how a fixed guideway system can transform a corridor. 
Capital costs for this bus rapid transit range from $835 million to $1.5 billion, depending on right-of-way requirements. Annual operating costs are anticipated to be approximately $19 million. To expand east-west capacity to communities like the Sassa, Sefner, and Plant City, FDOT will be adding express toll lanes on the western portion of I-4 in the future. Premium bus service along Dale Mabry can provide connections to Raymond James Stadium, Hillsborough Community College, Legends Field, and communities such as Carrollwood and Lutz. We anticipate this project to cost between $630 million and $1.1 billion for capital, depending on right-of-way needs, and an additional $14.4 million annually for operating. A proposed ferry system moving people from the Gibsonton area to MacDill Air Force Base can provide an alternative, potentially reducing travel time. In the future, this ferry system may be expanded to downtown Tampa and St. Petersburg. Capital costs for the ferry project are anticipated to be approximately $25 million, with operating costs to be covered by a private partner. Our proposal builds on Hart's current transit development plan and future vision. The transit development plan includes enhancements to existing bus service, extended hours, additional routes and circulator service, and increased frequency. These upgrades will make the rider experience more convenient and predictable for residents to access grocery stores, doctor's offices, pharmacies, and more. The current expansion plan is anticipated to cost $145 million in capital and $670 million in operating expenses over a 10-year period. In Hart's vision plan, commuters will benefit from new metro rapid routes, express routes, and eventually bus rapid transit providing a reliable and relaxing alternative to driving an automobile. This vision will be an additional $625 million in capital and an additional $300 million in operating cost over 10 years. We've been discussing transit opportunities, proposals, which are founded on various studies and represent a comprehensive list of transit projects. These include different modes working together seamlessly to create a holistic approach to mobility. To be an attractive, competitive community, transit solutions must be integrated with our roadway system and offer safe and accessible sidewalks, trails, bike facilities, and convenient park and ride locations. We are leveraging our existing transportation network by enhancing technology on our roadway system. Optimizing traffic management will improve traffic flow for our drivers, facilitate timely bus operations, improve pedestrian safety, and enable responsive traffic movement during emergencies. Sidewalks and bike lanes are key components of our transportation network. They may be the first leg of a commuter's journey, provide recreational opportunities, and offer an alternative to driving. A well-maintained and connected sidewalk system allows for safe and convenient choices to access local businesses, schools, and other nearby destinations. The cost for these improvements is estimated to be $610 million. While we think of trails as recreational assets to enrich our community, 
integrating them into the overall transportation network facilitates connections to neighborhoods, parks, and bus stops. In the artist's rendering seen here, the Tampa Bypass Canal is transformed into a connection between residential and employment centers. This improvement will also provide a walk-bike destination for recreational purposes along the Bypass Canal. When completed, the trail will connect downtown to the state's Wilderness Park, passing through both the Bypass Canal Park and Veterans Memorial Park, offering a safe place for pedestrians and bicyclists. This proposal includes urban trails that would help implement Tampa's vision to create a city center that is attractive and safe, linking eastern and western city neighborhoods to Riverwalk and providing a regional destination. Trail projects are anticipated to cost $70 million. With investments in road widening and intersection improvements, as well as enhanced technology, we can reduce vehicular crash rates and increase safety, as well as build much needed capacity. Road widening projects will incorporate complete street features such as sidewalks, bike lanes, and streetscapes. We're also targeting projects in our communities that will provide relief for local mobility and connectivity to job centers. In this video, an artist's rendering shows us the possible impact of widening Orient Road. In addition to providing relief for congestion, new development may result as the ability to move goods, services, and workers improves. We anticipate that intersection improvements will cost $440 million, road widening $2.2 billion, and technology will cost $55 million. We must not forget to take care of what we already have. To have a safe and efficient transportation system, it is imperative to invest in our existing assets. For example, addressing bridges that are functionally obsolete and in need of upgrade or replacement ensures that the transportation system is sustainable and operable into the future. The cost to upgrade and replace our bridges is anticipated to be $115 million. We also have an opportunity to address our immediate repaving needs in neighborhoods and subdivisions and our unfunded repaving backlog. Repaving our roadways on a regular schedule protects them from deterioration and more costly repairs. The backlog and 30-year needs for resurfacing are $745 million. What we have shown you is a comprehensive mobility proposal which will reduce commute times, improve safety, offer commuting choices, and ensure sustainable job growth and economic prosperity. Communities will benefit by improved sidewalks, bike lanes, trails, intersections, and roads. We've recognized the need to maintain our transportation infrastructure by repairing our bridges and addressing our repaving backlog. In addition, a menu of transit options and projects will foster development and provide alternative modes of transportation as our community grows over the next 25 years from 1.2 to a projected 1.8 million people. The projects in this proposal have been identified through a variety of initiatives, technical and safety analyses, various planning and outreach efforts, and regional and economic development studies. But the costs for all of these projects are outside of our community's ability to pay for them. We have leveraged existing revenue sources currently available to us. To move forward, we need to consider new revenue to continue investing in our community. A one-cent sales tax will help leverage federal and state grants as well as private investments.
The next step is we reach out to you to review the projects. Validate the needs. Identify priorities and continue to shape the mobility plan for our community. Please log on to www.hillsboroughcounty.org slash TED to learn more.